What? Smoking all my dragons, divine, righteous, almighty, great, overachieving, never slacking. We are back. Today we got Discover England's Southwest Coast Path. Combined films. So, uh, y'all already know I got a lot of love for England scenery. If y'all stuck around and y'all seen me react to so much different uh, places in England, you know, things to do, y'all know that I definitely appreciate the just the just the beauty that's out there. So, with that being said, let's take a look at England's southwest coast and really see what it's looking like out there. So, we're gonna dive right into it. Original link will be in the description. Here we go. Let me run that back. Make sure my headphones connected. Just looking at the scenery right there, it's just incredible. Super amazing, super beautiful, breathtaking. That guy was just on a scooter and them in that rocky area like that. Ain't nothing stopping some people. It's just so beautiful and there's so much to see. I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact there's people that have walked that all that that whole coastline that have walked the whole thing. There's gotta be people out there that have done that. And there's people in America who don't rode their bikes all the way from New York to California. So I know people don't walk this coastline.
walking holiday. That's awesome that you got people that surf out there. I don't think I've ever seen anyone surfing in New York. I could be, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there's certain beaches out there, but not that I could remember. I don't think I've ever, literally ever seen anyone like surfing. Once again, I could be wrong. I know when I went to California, I went to Huntington Beach. Yeah, I seen surfers everywhere. So it's pretty cool that in England, they out there surfing. England, England is just beautiful to me. Beautiful. Love the waterfall. That is breathtaking. That was amazing. 
I tell you this though, right now I would love to be just sitting or standing by one of those cliffs with the wind blowing just Oh, definitely like by around the evening time. Woo. How many of y'all in the comments that's going to comment have done something like that? Like been by these cliffs during the evening when it just feels super perfect out, outside, not too hot, not too cold. And you just got that wind blowing, hitting you and it just feels so soothing and so good. That's what I'm craving right now. All right. It's burning hot out here. I had a migraine today, all right? <laughs> Went to the gym early, and I just, I walked to the gym, and that sun just, woo, got in my eyes, and I ended up having that migraine today. So when I look at these waters, and I just, I know a lot of wind is in them cliffs. I know it is. I know it feel good up there, man. Woo. Yeah, I'm going to the lake in about two weeks. I don't care. I'm going to, I'm talking about the Finger Lakes, one of the big, Cayuga, Cayuga Lake. That's my favorite lake. But uh, this makes me want to go, just looking at all this. It's just so much to see. Like, if you love nature, if you're big on nature, uh, this, someone like me, this is just, this is heaven. This is heaven on earth. This is paradise. Uh, it's like, it's like Mother Earth giving a gift. It's just beautiful. It doesn't. It doesn't seem too overcrowded and uh, not like energy draining. And you're like, oh, I don't want to. It's like when you go into, like we go downtown New York City or something, right? To let's say 14th Street or something, and you just, for me personally, I get drained when it's just when it's crowded too much. It could be a good day if it's too crowded. I'm going to still feel so drained. But when you look at this, whoo, it just feels so beautiful. It just feels like, like you're one, you know, one with nature. I love it. It's amazing. I would take my snakes and have my snakes on my neck and on my wrists and, and walk, walk right over here. It's just, look at the surfing. Everything about this video was satisfying for somebody like me. It was just satisfying. I mean, you can spot goats and just beautiful. You guys have it really good out in England. And yeah, we got it good out here in America too. Don't get me wrong. But I definitely like to pay homage and show love to other places, especially places that I've never been to. Because uh, you guys, I feel like I feel like people don't talk about England too much where I'm from. Not at all. Not at all. Like, when you do hear about it, you hear about London, literally. Like And that that's probably it. And I feel like people kind of downplay England. And uh, I just see the beauty in it. I see the beauty. I think what really attracted me to start to look at England was seeing how so many places in the Northeast, in New York, where I'm from, were named after places in England or influenced by places in England or Britain, just Britain, period. So it's like, Looking at that, it automatically makes me want to look that way because I want to see where stuff came from. Hey, doesn't that make sense? I want to see where all the architecture and all the ideas, I want to see this is pretty much the motherland to, you know, a lot of the structures in, in, in the Northeast, whether people want to accept it or not, this is so... This is like, to me, the original. So that's that's probably the biggest respect I could give to you guys out there in England. That's that's That was heavy respect. So y'all know I definitely got love for y'all. But even just looking, even as I just click through, it's like so amazing. I love boats. I love sailing. I mean, there's nothing I didn't... I'm trying to find something I don't like about the video. I'm trying to find... I guess the only thing I can say is it looked like people so... I mean, you real close to that cliff. That could get a little scary. That could get a little scary being so close. But honestly, I'm just looking at a picture. Actually, being there is, I'm sure, is way, way different. You know, I'm looking at it from high up, like a drone type of view. But man, man, oh man, look at that. Just look at that. You know, look at that. Game of Thrones vibes all day. Beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it. But with that being said, guys, that was Discover England's Southwest Coast Path. 
And um, yeah, if you've walked that whole thing, if you've been here, if you've even said, if you've had a picnic here, if you just let me know in the comments, let me know about the the times that you truly enjoyed uh, on, on England's southwest coast, right? Did you did you walk your dog there? Did you just let me know? Did you write a book? Did you get inspired by looking at how beautiful it is? I want to know in the comments. I want to know those. I want to hear those like-minded comments. With that being said, I'll be back with more soon. I'm sweating. I'm sweating bullets. It's so hot out here. I cannot wait till fall. But I want to, hold on. Before I leave, I probably asked this question before, but I'm going to continue to ask it. What does fall look like out in England? Out in England's southwest coast. What does that look like in the fall time when autumn hits? I want to know. So please drop that in the comments too and put me on. Does it get more beautiful? Does it get winter time? Is this, does it get scary with the ice? Do people tend to walk over there in the winter? I don't know how that might work with the ice. And uh, y'all let me know. But with that being said, I'll be back with more soon. Much love to you all.